Hello, everyone. Farmer Mike live from the big farm. Oh, look at that color. That is pretty beautiful. Ah, let me see if I can grab one. No, nope, but you can't eat these. Don't do it. Beautiful bush, everyone. And this is called the American Winterberry. Oh, look at that. Look at that beautifulness. Fall color at its finest. And it's native to right here in America. Beautiful. This is the uh, American winterberry. And, and no, you can't eat this. It's very unique, very beautiful. Birds love it. So birds can eat it, but we can't eat it. But look how beautiful. Thank you for joining. Look how beautiful this is. Before I get into this master talk here today on the big farm, I want to start by saying we have over 180 videos on our YouTube channel, Philius Blue Vine Farm, dedicated to urban farming and urban gardening. And here I am at the big farm. I don't know, what's today, Wednesday? On uh, on Wednesday, and uh, just admiring nature right here, the American winterberry native to this area. And uh, look how beautiful it is. And this is, this is a beautiful addition to your garden or landscape from fall color. And it also is food for your animals. And I'm wondering if, um, if people could um, really make some really nice decorations and really nice reefs with uh, something like this. I'd love to put this, clip some of these and put these in a vase and display these because it's just beautiful. And it's also native, which means we're not watering in it. It loves this environment, it loves this place, it loves this soil, and um, and it's going to um, produce an abundance of food. It's going to provide us shelter, can provide us wood, decoration, just pretty amazing. But today I'm here at the big farm and uh, just picked up some chicken feed down the street. Um, but that's another video. And so, I wanna get in here and what we wanna do is we want to walk the field. So this is just a, a quick walk and talk. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Ophelia's Blue Vine Farm on YouTube. And making plans, just got off the phone with Farmer Bob, and we're making plans already for next year. And this field right here pretty much underperformed a little bit. Um, this year, we had some issues very very strange year this year as far as the watermelon and the cantaloupe was concerned um could have been an issue with the seed but i think just overall it was a bad year on watermelon because we had some really really hot temperature followed by some uh followed by um a lot of rain and so as you can see i'm in this field right here and these fields are not irrigated um, its water holding capacity has been built up over the years by what's been grown in here and what's been tilled under the, uh, the practices, the sustainable farming practices in this field. Um, the native plants, or some might call weeds, but the native amaranth that is in, aggressively in this field that gets tilled in is all part of the system and it defies explanation. So what we're doing out here are things that knowledge has been passed down over the generations by other black farmers is being passed down to me by Farmer Bob. So I'm just walking the field, making sure we don't have any problems, making sure nobody's down here camping out or drinking. <laughs> Although what a beautiful day, who wouldn't want to come out here and, uh, and crack open a, a bottle of Ripple. <laughs> <Don't tell much. laughs> Who wouldn't want to come out here and enjoy, you know, hanging out with the winterberry, you know? 
I don't know if you can. You know, who wouldn't? Who wouldn't want to enjoy that? So we're just uh, walking the field today. I hope my audio doesn't doesn't drop out. Been having a problem with that audio dropping out. Now, across from these fields, we have an area where we have a pond. And so the plan is, I'm gonna talk Farmer Bob, and uh, maybe we'll get Foots out here with some chainsaws, and we're gonna clear, we're gonna clear all this. So if you wanna help, we're looking for volunteers, so let me know in the comment section. The plan is that this field, we're gonna clear back this, this tree line back here, and um, we're gonna irrigate from that pond over there into this field. So if you'd like to be a part of that, if you'd like to help or volunteer, reach out to me in the comments section. Mike at Ophelia's Blue Vine Farm, signing out. I've got work to do, but I'll see you later today in another video. Bye from the big farm.